Hey everyone, welcome to Quasar's Customs. I am Hearst Quasar, and we are in the middle of doing some car movie or movie car series in Car Mechanic Simulator 2018. And right on the rack, we have a classic Corvette. And as you can tell from the thumbnail, it is from the movie True Lies. Now, I will tell you, this is probably one of my favorite movies of all time with Arnold Schwarzenegger in it. And it's probably because it has Jamie Lee Curtis in it as well. Um, because who doesn't like Jamie Lee Curtis, right? So, True Lies. What is this movie about? The movie is about um, a guy who's basically a, a boring husband. But, uh, you know, doubles he's uh, he doubles his life as a spy, right? And Jamie Lee Curtis is his, his wife. So throughout, you know, throughout the movie... At the beginning of the movie, he's doing all his spy business, and his wife's like really bored, you know, being at home all the time with the kids, and she's just, you know, she's just bored. Um, so I'm not sure exactly how it comes about, but she does go out into town, and this guy, this weasel of a guy, um, basically leaves a, uh, I think it's a briefcase or, yeah, a briefcase next to her at this diner and basically tells her that, you know, hey, um, my life is in danger or something like that. And she, he ends up pawning this briefcase off on her and um, basically saying that he's a spy. So, she, you know, trying to get her all involved in it. So she's kind of freaked out about it, but she's also excited about it, too, because, you know, um, her life's kind of boring as a housewife of Arnold Schwarzenegger. So um, how this Corvette comes into play, this guy who plays off to be a, a spy, who he really isn't, he isn't a spy at all, um, is a used car salesman, right? So Arnold Schwarzenegger actually finds out who this clown is and goes for a ride in this Corvette with him and scares the living crap out of him. Um, beautiful. <laughs> All I can say is that is just freaking awesome. And why are things... Okay, wait a minute. There's no items to work with? What? Okay, hang on. Oh, I just did all that. Okay, so... Um, yeah, I'm getting myself all out of, tr out of whack here. Um, so yeah, Arnold Schwarzenegger... And um, Tom Arnold is in this movie as well. Now, if you don't know who Tom Arnold is, um, he is Arnie from, uh, there was a series called Roseanne. If you remember Roseanne, um, he was Arnie in the series Roseanne. And actually, this is probably one of the first movies I've ever saw him in outside of the series Roseanne, uh, honestly. And I feel like he almost plays the same character no matter what movie he's in. Um, hey, you, you can... Give me your honest opinion. You think the same thing or no? Um, it just seems like he's Arnie no matter what. And, and I mean, that, you know, to be fair, that's probably because um, seeing him in Ro on Roseanne for so long, you probably just get that, that image stuck in your head and thinking he's Arnie. So um, to be fair to him, yeah, that, that's probably that's probably the case. Um, but yeah, he's in the movie as well as Arnold's sidekick. So Arnold and Arnie basically use these spy resources to basically spy on his wife, find out what she's doing, right? And they come to find out that, you know, um, did I just get front shock absorber bees? Yeah, that was awful. Uh, so they, they find out about this guy and they scare him with the Corvette run. Uh, and then they... Um, find out you know that he's he somehow gets um jamie lee curtis back to his place in this corvette right and his place is is a trailer i mean it's a trailer it's not a mobile home people we are talking just a straight up trailer and um uh arnold schwarzenegger and uh tom arnold use the resources to um you know, use their their resources to basically um, dive in and take this guy. Um, 
uh, put this guy like under false arrest, right? Just screwing the crap out of this guy altogether. Um, and they take his wife away. Um, they take his wife away to uh, some questioning, some questioning area, right? Um, and they start questioning her, and you know, even though it's it's kind of wrong, um, Arnold Schwarzenegger's asking her questions. You know, she can't see who it is that's questioning her. The voice has changed. It's like it's got this mirror. She can't see anybody. Um, and, you know, she's telling him, you know, that her life was boring. You know, and and this guy just, you know, seemed like she he needed her help, and she was trying to help him out, and things got out of hand. Yeah, so I mean, Arnold Schwarzenegger is like, hey. Um, I get it. I understand. Um, uh, hang on a second. Let me take a look at this. So he basically, he basically sets her up for another mission and says, you know, you can't say anything to anybody, but you've got this mission to do. And they release her. <laughs> uh, oh my gosh. Um, um, these need to be chromed out. What are the size tires? I forget. Uh, two of five seventies. So, um, we go with those two of five. We're gonna go with the two fifteen, and we're gonna go with the sixty five profile. Two of those. All right, and we're gonna go chrome these rims out. Anyway, he sets her. He sets her up for this mission, so she has to. You know, pretend like she's this hooker and go to this guy's house uh, or apartment um, and do so or plant a um, she's supposed to plant a bug for the um, um, on his phone or in, in, in his apartment um, condo area. Right. So she ends up going right. And Arnold Schwarzenegger is the guy that's in there. And he ends up having this tape-recorded voice um, telling her what to do. You know, like, take this off, take that off. Um, and this is where Jamie Lee Curtis really shines. She looks really good in this in this part where she's she tries to do this dance. And she's funny because she, she's a housewife, you know. She doesn't, she doesn't do these kinds of things. And she doesn't know how to do some of these things. So, um, she basically falls off the bedpost while she's trying to dance, and she's trying to dance all seductive and everything, and, um, I, um, I think Arnold's plan was, you know, just to, to get her, get her all wound up and then surprise her that it is him, right? Well, I don't think he gets a chance to do that, because, um, during the course of it, I think he starts to make his move. And Jimmy Lee Curtis actually grabs the telephone and bangs him on the head with it and runs out of there because she's scared to death, right? Um, doesn't know who Arnold Schwarzenegger is because Arnold was in the was in the background in the shadows. He was in the shadows, so she couldn't really see him that well. Um, but yeah, I mean, um, it's quite funny. Uh, in the meantime, um, there's this person looking for. Uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger. It's a, another girl. I forget what her name is. Uh, the actress's name. Um, anyway, she she ends up she ends up catching up to them and nabs both of them, both his, uh, both Jamie Lee Curtis and Arnold Schwarzenegger. So yeah. Um, and there's just I, I mean. You'll have to watch the movie. There's there's a couple of good scenes in there where, you know, they inject him with truth serum, and she's asking him, she's asking him questions, and she's like, "Well, wait a minute, have you killed anybody?" And he's like, "Yeah, but they were all very bad people." <laughs> so it was like he was justifying it while he was telling her the truth. Um, quite comical. It's 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 one of the better movies. Um, it does have a few cheesy Arnold Schwarzenegger lines in it. You know, um, um, so you know, with that, with that in mind, just beware that there are, are a few of those cheesy lines in there. 
And this bad boy came with a set of Craggers. So can is is 205 good? Yeah, it looks like I can. Hmm. I'm looking. I, I, I was looking at the. Uh, I could probably have gone a little bit wider. But. I think I'm going to stick with that for right now. I probably could have gone just a hair wider on it. I probably could have gone with a uh, 225, probably. Um, that's all right. It's all good. I think it looks pretty good the way it is. This is the uh, is a C1 Corvette, 1960 Corvette by Lett. Now, if you happen to take a look at the at the workshop, there are two different uh, 1960 Corvettes out there. Um, this one's by Lett. And then there's another one out there by Gollywog. And um, we will be doing that one in the next episode. It will be a mystery movie car. So if you're watching right now and you're, you're already prepared for a mystery movie car, you already have a heads up that it's going to be a C1 Corvette. Yes, another one. So the race is on and we'll figure I don't know how or what I'm going to do um, I mean I, uh, my finances are just as limited as everybody else's but uh, we'll try to figure something out to do for people for the uh, for a contest to guess what the movie car is going to be um, Honestly, uh, I probably can't do much of anything outside of a couple of shout outs and a couple of videos. I think that's going to be. Um, I'll make an announcement on uh, my channel. Uh, I'll probably leave a uh, note or something in my channel. So um, be prepared for that. So start thinking about C1 Corvettes and movies. All right. Think about that. Next video another C1 Corvette. So, how is everyone doing? I'm hoping this video is finding everyone doing okay. Um, at the time of recording this video, you know, there are things happening in the world. The coronavirus. Um, that's probably the headline going on right now. So, you know, if you're watching this two, three years from now, you're going, what the heck is a coronavirus? You probably already have a vaccine for it. And um, you like chicken pox. So, yeah, so what, keeping a close eye on the coronavirus, definitely for sure. Um, not planning on doing any overseas traveling myself. I did go to Mexico here recently, so. Uh, but we've been back, my wife and I have been back for more than two weeks, and it is no symptoms. We are symptom free. Coronavirus fear, I guess you might say. Not to say I don't long for Mexico again, because that was, it was nice. Oh, excuse me on that. All right, we got that. Got that. So I did go ahead and took the liberty of building an engine for this. I'm going to have to do the same thing for Gullywog's vet as well. Um, I actually don't think I have any. Let's see. What do I have in my warehouse, actually? Um, gearboxes, uh, V8 overhead. Um, these are just spare parts. Ooh, I did have a, I did have a nice, in yeah, I'm not going to stick it on there though. Um, blocks. So these are blocks and then they have, oh, look at that. I have a plus five V8 block. That would be nice. Um, now I've got a Hemi block. Um, no. So I don't have a spare engine for this per se. So that's all right. I was hoping I had a spare one for the next one, for the next go around, but uh, I do not. So, but that's all right. That's okay. Uh, we'll f figure something out. All right, uh, brakes. We know we're going to have to do a couple of these ventilated jobs and a couple of pads. Hopefully, that's all I need for the front. Um, Go ahead and get these pieces out of the way that we already know we're going to need. Uh, we don't need that. Um, front sway bar B. 
Inner tie rod ends, outers. Bum, 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 bum. 12 rubber bushings. All right, so I nailed everything down. I shut everything down except for my recording and this game. And for some reason, I am coming across a little bit of lag here every now and again. Yeah, very delayed, I can tell. Um, but looks like it's worked itself out now, so it's it's good. We're all good. Oh crap, I think I did I get did I get delete crazy? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I did go delete crazy. Delete crazy and deleted one. Ah. Okay, in links we're good with bearings and the caps. Need an upper suspension arm. Really? Is that the only main piece I needed? Upper suspension arm. Hey, I'm pretty happy with that. Pretty surprised. I did get this from the auction, believe it or not. Take I mean, take a look at that. The body condition of that. It's like holy crap. Okay, these are going to be. We're going to go with another set of these. Two at six. Uh, two at sixteen. Um, and I gotta look at the wheel size here. Yeah, everything's kind of jumpy, so kind of freaking me out. Okay, there's a 205s, 205s. Oh, they're all 205s? There's a 205 all the way around? Oh, I'm not gonna have this. Alright. Alright, uh, well, well, we can make it a 205. Alright, we'll, we'll get some 205s. But we're gonna go with a... 65 profile like I did the back. That was a waste of 100 bucks. All right. Uh, let's see here. I am going to need two race tires. It will be 16s. Yeah, we'll take it to the 205. But I'm going to go with the 65 profile. There we go. Slightly lower profile. While that is cooking up there, let's see what we got here. Let's go ahead and start putting some of the suspension stuff together here. So yeah, have you seen True Lies and what is your favorite Arnold Schwarzenegger movie? I think this is the first and only Arnold Schwarzenegger movie I've done in this movie series. Um, so far, I do have plans for another but it will be a surprise, and as soon as I find that vehicle, um, I will definitely get it on here. Uh, but I have not come across it yet, and I used to see it all the time, and I can't find it now. So, go figure. And I don't do the mod to uh, increase the chances of finding or spawning them. Um, I don't know, I just always find it fun to find them on my own. It's like where's Waldo and you're doing a search in the the in the scrapyard, the junkyard, and the auction house. So hopefully I will come across one soon enough. Ah, hopefully. Okay, I don't have one available right now, so let's just grab that. That's okay. That didn't sound right for some reason. You know what I mean? Didn't sound completely right. Yeah. 
Yeah, this of the older Corvettes, this is probably my favorite. Um, has the dual, you know, the dual headlights up front, uh, or I should say, the quad headlights up front. Um, I just like the tail end of these. Um, probably. Oh wait a minute, I don't, I don't have that available to me. You gotta get that. I forgot all about that. Um, you know, I just like the, the tail end of it. I like the side styling of them. I mean, it's just this is probably one of my fit, probably the favorite Corvette. Um, in my opinion, it's my favorite Corvette. How's that? Um, I need an upper suspension arm. Right, there we go. So when Gollywog said he was doing one, I was like, uh, do you happen to have one for a red interior? Because that is, um, that's what my plans were for the next movie Corvette, was to have a red interior. And then after looking at this one, this one probably should have had a red interior. Um, but we're going to stick with the black interior for this one, and we're going to give uh, Lit some airtime as well as gollywog on the next video all right coming down to the wire here we're getting all these pieces done up oh, i forgot that yeah something's i think it's just because there's a whole lot of um textures on this puppy it's really really wanting to drag me down a little bit but that's okay we are making it through. Okay, let's see what I have in my inventory. Anything? Oh, see, I got a bushing. All right, where's my bushing that I need? Is it back here? Did I forget it back here? Nope, nope, got it up front. Let's go over to the other wheel. There it is, right back there. I knew there was one missing. All right, let's put you on the ground. And let's start taking you apart. Doors. Okay, I already replaced the seats in it because I wanted to uh, play around with the seats to see what seats fit a little bit better. And I found those seats in particular fit a lot better than what was in there. Um, sorry, Lit, but um, I think these fit a whole lot better. Um, that doesn't come off. That doesn't come off. That comes off. And... Taillights, there they are. When it's a red car with red taillights, it's really hard to catch those. Well, we destroyed a few pieces, that's for sure. All right, um, trunk is in good shape, tail light, no, bumper, yeah, that tail light works out all right. I'm trying to keep it, um, trying to keep this as much of a low budget as possible, because, um, take a look, I'm, I'm down to 112 million. Yeah. Oh, that's not. That's not good. Um. Um. It's because I've made a few purchases. That's probably. Um. Uh, yeah. Both those are good. So we're all right. Nope. That front bumper is lousy. So we're not going to put that on. All right. Uh. Welder, please. You know, I just realized that welding helmet over here. It should make you have to put that on. That would be kind of cool. Ooh, look how pretty that beast is. Uh, all right, let's... Look at that. All right, I need... Need a front bumper glass and a left tear light. Front bumper glass and a rear tail light. 
<clears throat> now let's see how easy this is going to be to find parts for this. And I'll show you there's there's two different types of parts in here. So uh, I'm gonna go 1960. I believe this will capture all. Oh no. Okay. Okay, I'll go with Corvette, but there's I have tons of Corvettes. Now, this C1, everything that says C1 is actually uh, Gollywogs. So, um, if you see a C1 in it, it's Gollywogs. So, that's a good deal. And this is all interior pieces. I can't wait to get in building into this one. Oh, my gosh. Ah, anyway, all right, let's scroll down here a little bit farther. We'll get past um, the C1, C2. And we get down here a little bit farther, I believe. Did I pass it up? Nope, here we go. So this just says Chevrolet Corvette. So we needed the glass, right? Um, we got the rear bumper. We needed a left tail light. And... The front bumper. All right, I think that is all we needed. So we'll tag that on there. Oh, that's that's good to go. So I could put that back on there. Front windshield is on and good. Uh, up front, nice clean bumper. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. I'm telling you, I love these. These cars are just so cool. Um, I just like the looks of these. Um, I don't know if I could ever own one myself. Um, just because I'd be afraid to drive the thing. be honest with you. Um, okay, so we don't need any of this crap up here. Get a little money made. Yeah, I it's down to 112 million. I was, I'm sorry. I was talking about that earlier. Um... I've made a couple of purchases, um, which uh, they are movie that there's a couple of movie cars or a couple of cars that I thought, eh, maybe I'll just pick this up and see. Um, maybe I'll I'll do something with it later. Um, but uh, I have been doing a little bit of a spending spree, that's for sure. So we'll take this off. We'll take this off the crate. We'll put this in. Yes, full-blown baby. Um, look at that. Oh, my gosh. That is just freaking beautiful. All right, let's put some oil in this. <sighs> the sound of oil being put in it. Close. Yeah. All right, this is, I'm going to give this puppy a tunable uh, transmission, that's for sure. Um, we'll give it a tunable transmission, even though I have not tuned any of these cars at all. Um, yeah, I know. Uh, get myself a gearbox. I need a starter. I don't think this thing has an exhaust system, per se. Um, I don't think Litz do, does. I haven't uh, taken a look at Gollywogs. Um, I do have it in the parking level, so it's waiting to come into the garage, and it will be the next video. And like I said, it will be a mystery movie. So, get on your thinking caps. Alright, I think this is good. Let's see here. We are 100% across the board, boys and girls. And I don't think I need to repaint it because I think we've got all the pieces that we need. Um, it may have been a little darker red, so I tell you what, let's. Um, it's a very bright red. So I don't know if this is as bright as it goes. It's almost, this is almost like orange. Okay, so that's zero, so we're at 100%. Um, I, t 
tell you what, let's back off the brightness just a little bit. We'll go to 90. Um, the livery, there is a livery, you have a white insert. There's also a black insert for lits. So if you're going with like a white Corvette with a, a black insert, that would be kind of cool. Um, or you go with none. So you have a white or a black insert for that. Um, for this application, we are going white. So. All right. We are cooking with gas right now. We're going to throw this over in the dyno. Have a quick look-see. That's a beautiful looking car. Yes, run the dyno, please. Just just freaking beautiful five hundred twenty five horsepower ooh the devil torque six 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 yikes yeah the devil you say all right we have completed the true lies corvette um if you haven't seen the movie it's i i I'd, i would recommend the movie um just because it's a lot of fun it just is a lot of fun um it's it's a comedy and uh oh, i love it oh you know what um i need to paint that green it is uh it is march now so you know i'm gonna have to paint that green so i'm at the next episode this will be green Alright, so for now, I hope you enjoyed the episode. Please hit that subscribe button if you liked what you saw. And um, hit that notification button if you want to come, if you want to get notified of other videos. I uh, appreciate any comments down below. I do tend to answer everyone who hits it because I'm still running a little small. And I'm trying to hit 1,000 subscribers by the end of 2020. So we'll see how that goes. So until next time, keep customizing. I uh, want to see your rides over on our Facebook page. Go ahead and visit that over there. And uh, keep, like I said, keep customizing. Catch you later. This is Hearst Quasar, and I am out.